So, good morning. Uh, today is Christmas Eve and I got the Outool, Auto Tool, Out Tool smoke leak detector. And what I did is I kind of modified it a little bit. Is I put a plug here on the port where you normally hook up the uh, compressed air. I got a 12 volt 5 amp power supply. And I had two of these little air pumps uh, left from another project. So I installed one of them, tried to install the second one here, but that didn't improve anything. And um, just to let you know, the the way they did this is actually pretty slick. This is the heater, basically, where you pour in on top of you the oil with this supplied bottle, the 20 milliliter. They have already liquid or smoke in here, liquid. It came with it, so I didn't add anything to it. And basically the way this thing works is you come in with high pressure, it uh, lowers the pressure, brings it through this hose down here to the airflow metering unit where you can adjust the airflow. And then from the output of the airflow, it goes through that little filter or back uh, check valve in here. And then from here, it goes to the back, out to this hose. And I just wanted to show you this when we turn this on. We have about 1.2, and this is how fast the smoke actually comes out. And you can see this, it really stings up the room. So for my experience, this year what we got here, about one and a half liters per minute, I think that's what this is is more than sufficient with the smoke. And this thing will stink up your shop in a heartbeat. The smoke is a little bit better, but once you put baby oil in there, that's about it. So I'm gonna put this back together. And now since the power supply is pluggable, I can either use the supplied cable for the batteries, or I can run it of 120. The unit draws about three and a half amps at 12 and a half, 13 volts, just said, so you know. And this thermal switch here will turn this thing off when it gets too hot and then you have to wait until it cools down, which could take several minutes. Um, they didn't put a regulator in there, pulse with modulated regulator for the heater, which is really, you can see one pole here and the other pole is buried now underneath my pump. Uh, if you would control that with pulse width modulation and a temperature setting, you could regulate this. This way the overheat protection wouldn't come on and it would run indefinitely. But this is basically the improvement I made. I will put this to the test on the car here in the next few days, but I thought I'm going to give you an update just to let you know what you can do with this thing. Have a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays.